Thank you so much, Tom. Hi, everyone. So I'm, I'm Dragan from Onika Technologies. And we're, if I have the control, this one too. Yeah, I guess with that. So yeah, we're from Onika Technologies. And our, our mission is to make the oceans the most sustainable and affordable source of drinking water for coastal populations. As you all know, water scarcity will be one of the greatest 21st century challenges. And as of yet, the current solution we have, desalination, is unfortunately expensive and also causes a lot of greenhouse gas emissions because the, it's essentially converting fuel into drinking water through a process involving many energy conversion steps. But luckily for us, ocean also has a tremendous untapped gift, which is wave energy. So by combining wave energy and seawater, we can make it directly an unlimited and sustainable source of drinking water. So Onika Technologies, the way we want to transform the industry is to eliminate all those energy conversion steps, where the last one is essentially pressurizing seawater at high pressure through RO membranes, which are sort of salt filters, to get the drinking water. We eliminate all those steps and use the mechanical motion of the waves to pressurize the same water using wave energy. Thus, we have the simplest way to desalinate with membranes and have a cost-effective solutions. We launched a company five years ago, and we're really excited to announce you that the, the technology is working good. Since 2017, we've been operating in the real environment in Florida with really good results with our two last units, and producing up to 10 cubic meters per day with, with the unit. And this solution is modular and scalable, where we put an array of these units offshore, and they will provide drinking water directly to the coast with an underwater pipe. This solution is thus a zero greenhouse gas emission solution. It doesn't use any land because everything is offshore. The brine we produce is responsible and it's cost effective even at the current scale. And now we're moving from a single unit at a time to a first commercial scale demonstration project. So we have a, a, a customer that we just signed a contract with. It's uh, Ocean Village a properties owners association in Florida that committed to purchase all the water we will produce with up to 30 of those units. This will be, uh, this is a very flexible contract that will enable us to industrialize our product, scale the production and generate revenues while at the same time serving as a platform to reach our customers within the Caribbean, which have a much worse situation regarding water. The 11 interested clients we have a preliminary proposals with represent 30 million US dollars in potential sales. And within the Caribbean, we're talking about $1 billion, $1 billion of uh, equip potential equipment sales. And just to give you an idea of a single user. So here is uh, Bermuda, uh, um, Bermuda's Coral Beach Club. They currently get their water from a centralized desalination plant at the rate of $10 per cubic meter. And the water gets to uh, water reservoirs. What we offer them is to install an array of those buoys offshore. And this will provide them a three year payback because they will use less water from the centralized conventional desalination plant, while at the same time providing good margins with the equipment sales for Nika and the resulting water costs will be about two and a half US dollars per cubic meter. So we're beginning with the small uh, market that has small volumes, but the high price per cubic meter. We're talking about the Caribbean. We will use those revenues to grow our company, reduce our costs, and reach a global market of about $10 billion per year, where the projects would be a much larger scale, but at the lower price per cubic meter. And as a desalination, market grows at the current rate it will be uh, it will be a market of about a hundred billion dollars per year by 2050 and we're able to deliver uh, as uh, reno and i have founded the company five years ago we've built uh, and developed this technology with our 10 employees with that pipeline and we're now connecting with key market experts like sean mayer steel who is the caribbean desalination association president that helped us grow the company and as I mentioned earlier, desalination as it is today is essentially converting fuel to water, making even more pressure on climate change 
and more of water scarcity issues. This is a dangerous vicious circle and we're here to break it with our breakthrough technology. And we hope we'll have the chance to work with you to make that happen. And if you need a sustainable, new sustainable water solution, let us know. And we also just, we are currently closing our financing round. So if you're interested, just give me a shout and I hope we'll have a chance to talk uh, together soon. Thank you so much.